suspected of fatal crash in Virginia Beach back in court today. Gerard Johnson pleaded guilty to aggravated involuntary manslaughter. Police say he was drunk when he hit a car last May on Indian River Road. Caitlin Duffy, a senior at Great Bridge High School, was killed. A friend suffered serious injuries. Duffy's parents were in court today. And our Jason Marks talked to them after the hearing. He joins us live from Virginia Beach. Jason? And Tom, it was very emotional for the Duffy family. There were tears as Johnson pleaded guilty to the six charges. The family now hopes the judge does not go lightly on him. Gerard Johnson didn't say much in court this morning as he pleaded guilty to being drunk and causing a crash that killed a high school senior. Still very raw every day. It's, yeah, you know, it's, it's hard. You not know. many hours pass without getting choked up or being upset or still thinking about it. Anyway, she's great bridge. It's, Everywhere we go is constant memory. Scott and Tammy Duffy have been there for all of Johnson's hearings. Their daughter, Caitlin, lost her life in the crash a year ago. Seeing him walk out every single time is really hard. It's very, very hard, but I wanted him to look me in the face, and I would love an apology. Johnson had a blood alcohol level of two times the legal limit when he crashed his work box truck in a Duffy's car. Duffy's friend, Sabrina Mundorf, was permanently injured. She has a permanent brain injury. Um, she has permanent loss of vision, permanent orthopedic injuries. It has completely changed her life. Mike Goodoff is president of the local chapter of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. He's also representing the Mundorf family in a civil suit against the furniture company Johnson was working for. We don't ever want another family to go through anything like this again. Hopefully, viewers that watch this see the tragedy that occurs, not only to the victims, but also to the defendant, the defendant's family, but the victims have been given a life sentence by what happened. The Duffy family recently filed a $30 million lawsuit against the company. Johnson faces 47 years in prison and will be sentenced in September. I wish he could have looked at me square in the eye, but I know he's not allowed to. Scott and Tammy say they're glad they now don't have to sit through a trial and relive the details of their daughter's death. They say they can't help but think about how she was senselessly taken. Caitlin just touched so many people. In May 19th marks one year since that deadly crash. I asked the Duffy family how they plan to spend the day. They say they first plan to go to Botanical Garden and dedicate a bench to Caitlin's memory. Then they plan to go to the crash site and gather there. That's the latest here in Virginia Beach. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.